Hunlo, hello friends, everybody up in the chat right now. Little Lemmy, Primish, Rios, Tangerine, Winged Menace joining us early here too. Welcome, Unpredict, Herlank, Padelian, Pogu starting screen. Heck yeah. We're uh we're gonna we're gonna talk about where where Terra's going today. What we all have to look forward to, you know? And and I mean it's Hitler's dream come true, honestly. Cause like, fuck, get Terra Mobile. Where's the Terra Mobile is the best. Who's who's who doesn't have a cell phone in this day and age? Honestly, just just Blance, Blance, do you have a cell phone? Are you gonna play Terra Mobile? I didn't mean to skip you, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't tell me to stop it, Pedalian. But uh, no. We're we're actually gonna be we're actually gonna be talking about non-mobile Terra, the the questionably superior Terra. Don't let Hiffler hear me say that. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, let's get on over in voice chat. Hopefully I don't have an explosion of sound as soon as I tune in. Give me Diablo feelings. <laughs> Terra memeable. Better gear than me, but he's not doing better DPS. Oh, hello, right. friends. So that that would be like a BM thing, but like, right. well, which is like what Moongore basically is. But like, yeah. <laughs> hello, friends. Hello, welcome. Welcome. Are we online. We are we are live. Hello, we are Serif. Live. Hello. Hi, the I am Serif. Cute, cute, soft-spoken voice here is Serif, K Terra guy. Damn, he oh, sound I cute. I do the translations for <laughs> K-Terra. Um, yeah, and I'm on the uh, PC with Kirsch. Yeah. How long have you uh, been playing K-Terra? Um, because that's when I got. Oh no, you're uh, you're a little robot-y friend. And to Korea to stay there. Forgot. Yeah, I'm gonna count like three. Oh no. Oh no, the internet, it's dying. Is it my internet? Is it your internet? I do not believe it is mine. You were just a uh, uh, very... He's lagging on mine too. Okay. But it could be the, uh... The server. It could be. So Maybe. just change the server. You want me to just change it now? I mean, I didn't see it go red. I'm, I'm good. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, it must have been me just, like, spiking. That's all right. So, yeah. uh, you were in the middle of saying, like, how long you've been playing K-Terra, and I heard you mention something about going to Korea? Yeah, so, I am Korean. My parents live in Korea, so, like, I visit them once in a while. And, um, two years ago, two years ago, uh, I had a chance to stay there for longer than just the summer vacation, so I made an account there. And, yeah, that's, that's when I started K-Terra. Like, whenever I come back to NA to finish my studies and stuff like that, I just play NA, because, because Ping because of ping so yeah i go back and forth trying to look at like the differences and like check up updates and do all that very very ping dependent game <laughs> yeah very ping dependent i'd love to play kikatera all day but can't do it <laughs> i'm assuming it feels like way better optimized wise than na terra does um uh personally i think they're they're both quite optimized like relatively like I'm, I'm, obviously there's a lot more they have to do but yeah, I, I think it's on the same level of optimization right now. All right, all right. Well. Yeah. We could always jump right into it, unless anybody had some sort of intro questions just about Seraph himself over here. Chat, chat is trying to ship you and Faye. OTP, hey. honestly. Hey, what? AB. Hey, Sanjay says hello from AB, Seraph. Yeah. AB <laughs> represent. Do I like anime? Yes, I do. I love anime. I watch a ton. What's your favorite anime? Um, I recently got back into the Fate series because of the uh, Rail Zeppelin series that came out. That's airing right now. So I watched uh, Fate Zero and Fate Stay Night and uh, UBW all over again. <laughs> 
fate op <laughs> fate op let's go heaven's um, feel yeah i'm waiting for that i'm waiting for heaven's feel <laughs> trying to get that sub unpredict is a big fan of seraph hey hello unpredict well if you hey, we represent if yeah. you want me to we can go ahead and get to that first slide yeah it's 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 really not much i just like got it all together last night in like three hours <laughs> that is okay yeah let's get rolling so yeah that's the first slide i was just gonna go through it like from the v84 to v85 then finally v86 so yeah the first one that's gonna be coming out along with like v85 as far as i know is gonna be the new one man or like five man uh farming instance it's, it's grand content so it's called argof hatchery which i sort of named because just direct translation yeah preset at zero screenshots yeah <laughs> <laughs> so basically it's like farming basilisks all over again except it's become more efficient so like every once in a while you're gonna get these uh caimans that are gonna come out <laughs> while you're killing basilis or like any other level 65 to level 70 mobs including bams and if you kill these uh caimans they have a chance to drop these dimensional portals and through these dimensional portals you can head into these one man instance or the five man instance if you're in a party so and it's it's a really great great way to level your character as well as your alts because each mob you see there on the right side gives you about uh 600k and then as you kill them there's gonna be different mobs that came up that come out i couldn't get a screenshot of it but they give like four mil to like 16. so it's 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 where you're gonna be using your exp boost to level your character um yeah any questions so far um I'm, I'm assuming people are just gonna ask in chat or something like that <laughs> and then you guys can just throw questions yeah of course just interrupt me anytime um is the argaf hatchery gonna have like a low lockout for daily runs is it gonna be like a gilly glade lockout or like a regular like coin no, kind so of thing as long as you grind you'll be able to get them so um the thing is let's say like there's five channels when this thing first came out there's gonna be there's a party at every channel just farming it at like the, the most efficient spots mm -hmm. and i did get into the dimension portal like five six times every hour oh wow when i was leveling my uh alt because my archer was level 70 already um i got from like level 66 to level 68 in like four hours i believe That's yeah pretty efficient considering how it long it took most efficient. of us yeah so you just need like one day to get to level 70 if you grind all day so you kill basilis they have a chance to uh spawn caimans and once you kill the caimans they also have a chance to spawn dimensional portals which will let you inside of this hatchery and get a lot of exp out of it um they do have the the, the instance has like a final boss kind of thing it's like barely a final boss you can kill it by yourself but um yeah it drops like this loot bag which includes like the uh uh weapon essence which you can trade for like the blight oath thing the the fusion infusion thing and either that or one of those green relics or halodomes or two of them so one halodome and one relic each only uh green tier relics and halodomes no no the, the blue ones okay yeah only the blue ones actually okay that doesn't seem too bad so you can you can it's open as many of these dimensional portals as you can like grind for by killing the open world mobs yeah there is no daily limit at all like That's you could pretty cool. go in there as much as you can it's all it, it sort of all depends on like your rng on how often you can spawn your caimans as well as how often they can spawn the dimensional portals by defeating them mm -hmm. yeah um hmm. <laughs> So like I, I have a level 68 archer on NA and I'm just like I'm not gonna level it. I'll, I'll just wait for this content. Yeah, just, just, just wait for this to day. come out. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is like the best way to level, honestly. 
Yeah, that's probably it for B86, I believe. Uh, 84. Alright, let's see here. Let's move on. Oh, we also have another thing for B84. So, like, you guys know the treasure maps, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a, another leveling content. So instead of, like, treasure map pieces, pieces it's also gonna drop like these intel pieces and in, like dungeons so like left piece same is the same thing as the tre treasure maps so like the left piece is gonna drop from lower tier dungeons the right piece is gonna drop from upper tier dungeons so, so you can have a chance yeah. of getting like a left map piece and one of these scout intels like at the same time yeah like they could both drop they could not drop at all but yeah there's like just the same rng on it uh penguin so. i'll probably be unlocking my VODs for a few days and uploading this to YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, YouTube. Subscribe. Click <laughs> like. <laughs> Just to make sure as many people as possible can can get the information. Sorry to yeah. interrupt the info. But uh, what no, do you fine, right? what do you get from this scout intel when you combine both of the pieces? So when you combine both pieces, it's, it's basically like tr the treasure map. You go to a location that tells you that it tells you to go to. This one's specifically in Akiram, so you find this card thing, and then once your party gets all around it, and the person with the map piece, uh, the, the intel piece goes around it, it's gonna spawn all these monsters. And for killing these monsters, you're gonna drop dimensional essences, and by using those essences, you can get a lot of EXP out of it. And that's basically uh, all what's that you're useful for. So the, yeah. the intel is just more leveling content, doesn't drop anything worthwhile? Yeah, V84 seems to be entirely just leveling. Like, same with the dimensional portal that's gonna open the new instance, as well as this uh, intel piece, scout intel thing. So it looks like, it's it looks like they put in plenty, plenty of ways to level faster at this point. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, this is definitely bonus. It's it's not gonna take as long as it did to level to level seventy. So yeah, that's great for alts if you haven't leveled your alts yet. Sounds good. And if anyone in the chat has questions at any point, do not be afraid to ask. Yeah, ask when you can. Looks like we're oh, at V eighty five now. Yeah, V eighty five, the secret merchant. Let's get going. So that guy standing there is the merchant. And he opens up every, like, every really once in a while. Like, maybe three times a day. But he's gonna throw out a message. So, if you go to the next slide, um, that's where it's gonna be. It's like, each major city has its own location. <clears throat> yeah, one in, one in every city, and it's gonna tell you like, it's, it's not gonna be like one of those big dungeon messages, but like, those system messages are gonna tell you that there's gonna be a goblin that spawns. And then, if you go to the next slide... Yeah. Uh, yeah, that goblin's gonna spawn with... for you to purchase three tokens. It's per account, so... You can get all that, but like, don't think that that's all the tokens that you can get. So when this content drops, each um, upper tier dungeon or like uh, red refuge and above is gonna give you one token per day for clearing it. That's gonna be that daily bonus. So like, you just grind on alts as well as Gilly Glade, right? So Gilly Glade is also gonna drop perhaps none but like one to three to tokens so you collect these tokens and if you go to the next slide it's going to tell you a few items that are going to be that you can buy so the so, the tokens uh, you can buy from that little goblin they come from gilly glade and you said somewhere so else the, the tokens draw from gilly, gilly glade as mm -hmm. well as a daily bonus for doing your vanguard okay and and then you just trade in those tokens for things at this merchant? Yeah. So if you see on the left, there's like Veil Clutch, um, Elemental Essence, Springy Thing, Weight Thing, Supreme Metal, Mallet. So it says zero remaining on one of them. That one is specifically 
the bone dragon skill mount, flying mount. So the rare one. It's not going to be the 2.0 one. And um, yeah. Uh, Zyros so, had a question in chat. He wanted to know yeah. if people overall like the new patch in Kaytera. Um, overall, what the thing is like before the update, the V86 update, we didn't know that there was going to be a new gear system as well as the new card system. So we were just dumbfounded when they just dropped everything on us. And we're, yeah, we didn't expect and we didn't know what to expect because we have everyone sort of grinded really hard for HO plus three. But then like that was, we didn't know whether it was still going to be like effective or like people should still try and go for that or just buy the new gear. Yeah. And I mean, a, they a lot still, of people still grind on it, yeah. They still haven't announced what HO is going to retool into, correct? No, they're, they're like, it's going to be a new superior legendary gear that's going to come out. And you're, they sort of hinted that you're going to have to retool your HO along with the superior one. And we have no idea what it's going to be. And some people think it's going to be like, you get three rolls, three random rolls, if, if you have HO plus three, two if your HO is plus two, and something like that. But it's all speculations, like we have no idea what to expect. Okay, uh, yeah, that was gonna be my next question as well, if they had any information on whether like you could retool like base no. HO or if it was only plus three. Yeah, like we have no idea. No, I don't think anyone has an idea, we're just speculating here. Yeah, well hopefully we can get that information somewhat soon. I hope so as well. Like, uh, like a lot of KTR players, some of them, they're just some of them are just grinding their butts out, trying to get plus fifteen on new gear. Some of them are just waiting, trying to see where HO is gonna go. Cause you know, a lot of people took their time. Like, they made a lot of attempts. Like, I personally, I'm still plus two in, in KR in Korea, and I've done like thirteen tries on it. Oh wow! So. <laughs> Like it's gonna piss me off if a hero is gonna not gonna be any <laughs> right? useful anymore. But and then, I, I like, know. You... Uh -huh. Sorry, go ahead. No, like, but then, like, if when I went to the new dungeons, right, with like people with new gear, like even plus eight, plus seven, plus eight, plus nine, I was, they they do a lot more damage than I could. Yeah, the the stat yeah. buffs on on the new tier of gear is pretty pretty substantial over heroic. Yeah. Oath. Yeah. And uh, I know you said it was um, just speculation, but when you said, mm -hmm. like, retooling Heroic Oath plus the new superior gear, do you mean, like, mm -hmm. taking, say, an HO plus three chess piece and then, like, a plus 12 or whatever the gold mm -hmm. goes up to in Korea and then, like, mashing those two together to get mm -hmm. a different piece of gear? Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Oh, no. <laughs> that doesn't well, sound that's, good. That's what they hinted, but I'm not sure that's exactly the, what's going to happen. Ooh, that sounds scary. Uh, Pedellian, wait, so all of this stuff you can buy from the merchant has a shared limited amount in total and not per person. So that specific uh, image is too small to show, but like the, I, the one with the zero remaining, that's the only one that has a limit, a server limit. So that... For that, that uh, specific shop only. So for that mount, since it's a mount, you can buy it yeah. once per account, right? Or once per character? No, once per ser one per server. There's only one. So okay. someone already bought it in the oh. screenshot. So everybody yeah. on the server has to like get there first and try to buy it? Yeah, it's first comes first serve and whoever purchases first is, gets the item. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the, the remaining ones are like unlimited, but it's limited to your account. Okay, so the yeah. other items in there, like the mallet, the weighted yeah. pendulums, is there any limit on how many you can buy on those in a day or from a specific merchant? It's per merchant, so for that merchant uh, specifically, you can only buy one mallet or like one springy, one weight, one essence. But there, there are other, there are other um, merchants out there that you can buy multiples, like. You can buy one mallet, but you can buy up to three superior metals. Yeah. And is it just RNG, the merchant that spawns however many you can buy? Or is it like... Yeah, so there's different variations of merchants, different secret merchants that spawn. Okay. So every time a merchant spawns, it'll just be RNG, how many of what you can buy from his shop? Um, usually the how many you can buy is pretty much set, but the items that come out is different every time. Okay. So this one has like that, 
sometimes it comes out with the radiant jewelry um, materials like I don't I forgot what it was called but the, like this stuff you can get from like Cosmos vault hard mode and like Democon factory hard mode that is, uh, that's just but, some more RNG though <laughs> yeah but, uh, but the thing is you can only buy one yeah yeah a so, little, like, little crazy it, it's, it's extra that you can do yeah because you'll be running dungeons regardless and getting those tokens so yeah obviously I mean it's just, it's just interesting that they have a merchant that you have an RNG chance of mm -hmm. getting something from I suppose like the first person to get it <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be the winner and uh kuya welcome back friend i'm not playing on a different server no we're doing yeah. an informational stream today on the roadmap of terra from version 84 to version 86 since there's been a lot of questions a lot of people worried about what's upcoming so i have Seraph here from k terra Hi. who does a lot of the translations helping us out getting some info out there yeah should we move on yeah yeah so this one's another little thing that's called the wandering uh, merchant so there's two two merchants that are kind of come out the secret merchants are the ones that spawn in the big cities like Thelica, Elementhea, Kaidor, and High Watch uh, I forgot to screenshot on the High Watch but there is one for High Watch as well and the wandering merchants are the ones that are gonna spawn in every region every very once in a while so this one, I believe, is specifically for Northern Arun. And the items that are sold there are basically what you see on there. The pet license, pocket slot, expansion token, chorus, partner skill change, and all that. And, and uh, they are also limited per well, server and like, per account as well. Like you said that the merchant in the towns, they have like a message when they're about to spawn. Does this one throw out some sort of global message as well? Or do you just have to randomly happen upon it? I would say the latter happen upon it. Yeah, because um, <laughs> the ones that are going to spawn in the city, they're, they're really apparent because it's, it's a global message. So everyone knows, like, regardless of where you are. Mm -hmm. And that, that uh, goblin spawns first with the tokens and then five minutes later, the shop opens for you to buy items from there the wandering merchants though they spawn randomly and then you just have to find them first so you don't know where they spawn but you just have to really go find look for them and oh they, yeah and each um, region has its own spawn sort of cooldown as well um how hard is it then to grind these tokens so like each vanguard above red refuge is gonna have a daily bonus for you to get one token each so if you run like gls normal um rk normal mode aa normal mode and all that you're gonna get like three tokens from doing those three yeah and like the the three tokens that you can buy from secret merchants is just an extra and this uh the wandering merchant uses the same yeah. tokens as the other merchant right to buy exactly. stuff from okay yeah and uh, Penguin, so, uh -huh. Penguin wants to know, do people bought these merchants since you said that there was that limit on like that mount? Oh yeah, no, we're talking about Keterra. <laughs> oh no, no, he means like, <laughs> do people over there like use a bot to like buy stuff from the merchant? I'm guessing yeah, so, is what he means. So Keterra doesn't really bot. <laughs> if, if, I, a, I'm just gonna throw that out. It's a Western only problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Proxy is definitely a Western only problem. Like. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything more about this. That's okay. <laughs> K KR, we, we, we're really clean on this stuff. Very, very clean players. <laughs> yeah, so there is no botting on this. Um, I've thought about it before, but though. Um, yeah, it, it might become a thing, but like each item is always gonna be random. So each time the merchant comes out, it's gonna be pretty random. Um, yeah, so each going back to the wandering merchant stuff each region has its own specific set of items that it's, it sells so if you go to the next one um i, I was actually gonna ask what is the Ar oh, yeah. argon weapon skin material oh yeah so it's a new weapon skin that they came out with so and uh, you just grind red refuge for it all right all right easy enough yeah it's not, it's not too bad yeah so yeah 
each region has its own sort of like shops the ones in sylvanoth are uh, as well as like i think northern aru in general uh, i mean northern shara in general sells like the scrolls and stuff that one says you can buy up to five tier three scrolls one token each so like five tokens to buy five scrolls basically and um northern iron sells like pet licenses ostagaroth which is like the right side of southern arm like, sells like those thing yeah. those like food stuff yeah it's like that Dawn sells gems. yeah castanica um cutthroat harbor um and city outskirts have their own little thing and it doesn't really sell anything much important other than elixirs like refiners so yeah, in um in the oscaroth box that first yeah. skill book is that another mount or a pet book that's a mount that's that is a mount i think that one specifically is the the polar bear mount okay the, the cross it's not a flying one and uh, that one is just like flat buy. It's not you got to get there first and be the first person on the server to buy it. Yeah, yeah. There's only one on that. Okay. All right. Oh. This seems like. And a... um, just a note on that mount specifically. I think it's the fastest ground mount in the game. Oh, is it 300 speed then? I think so. It's pretty much as far as I remember. Oh my! Because I was gonna say I think yeah. the fastest I've seen before that was 290. I think that one's the fastest one you can get in game now. Goodness. Ooh, the pockets. Yeah, yeah another V85 content. Um, we're getting an expansion in the uh, inventory. They didn't add more tabs to your inventory, but they added something called pocket to the side, the side of your inventory. It's basically inventory, but there's an ad additional tab to it off to the side. I don't know why they did it off to the side, but that's what they did. So you can get more tabs. As far as I know, that's cash only. But like, if you just the previous slide, you can get those uh, pocket slot expansion tokens. So you need like four, seven, eleven, I think it was, to unlock your uh, pocket slots. At first, you get sixteen. But uh, um, in the screenshot here. I unlocked eight more slots, so I have 24, and you can keep unlocking slots as long as you get these tokens or buy, buy the uh, expansion sort of voucher kind of thing. I'm pretty sure they're gonna sell it as well. Well, at, le at least there's an option in game to get it without having to cash shop for it then. Yeah, uh, just for uh, just for the slots, as far as I know. The tabs, you're, you're just gonna have to pay up. Yeah. I mean, it looks like there's plenty of slots per tab, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so as long as you get, like, one more tab, you're, you're pretty much set. Yeah. Like, you're not going to be carrying around everything in the first place. <laughs> I usually just put, like, items you can't bank in there. And just keep the ones that I can bank off in, in the main inventory. And can you explain what priority loot option means? So, like basically you know when you get uh on this well on the screenshot it says fishing and cooking related and gather mm -hmm. loot options so if those items come in to your inventory you can set it so that it goes in your pocket instead of your inventory that's neat yeah it's, it's a small neat feature uh, and i think it's only possible since it has tabs on it now that makes sense. I'm kind of, I'm kind of <laughs> curious. Do you do you remember how much the expansions are in the cash shop? I know it would be in like Korean won, but um, for the tabs, I actually have no idea. That's all right. I I didn't pick up on that. Um, Padelian wants to know if there's any pictures of the mount that has 300 speed. I think you said it was a polar bear, right? Yeah. Um. Uh. No. I don't have it. I don't have it <laughs> with me right now. But Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Be ready for EME to make regional changes to the shop so that they suck. I hope not. Don't change it. Uh, no. The shops are gonna be pretty, pretty much the same, honestly. And finally, V eighty six Exodor. That's that's the island that's been floating around on your mini map. 
But it's not just like a single island, it's like seven different islands. <laughs> it looks or pretty like... cool now that we're seeing it. When I uh yeah. when I first like looked at the map for Exodor, I was like, this looks like the OG Abyss from Ion. With like Ooh, um, yeah. the two, the Asmodian and Elios fortress, and then you had the s couple little islands to fight over the other fortresses, and then the eye in the center. Oh yeah, like, that's pretty much exactly it. <laughs> Copy paste. <laughs> 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 yeah, so the, if you look at the picture, the mini map there, there's four main islands, one in the middle, and a gazillion different islands on the sides. So it's not really like islands on the sides it's just like these jump platforms mm -hmm. so in order for you to travel between like all these islands between the main islands there's going to be like these carts that you can fly on as well as like teleportals that you can unlock once you go through the story quest that you get but to get to the side islands as well as the middle one in the middle like the one in the middle you have to use these jump platforms and to be able to use jump platforms, you have to do your daily quest. Yeah. For completing daily quests, you get some this elixir, this Argath elixir, and it allows you to use these platforms as well as fly around on the island for like an hour or two. Um, so there's limited yeah. limited time you can be on the islands? Oh, there's a limited time you can use the jump platforms. Okay. Yeah, you can be on the island anytime, anywhere, however you want, as long as you want. But you can only use these jump platforms with the uh, buff. There's two new reputations that, ca that are going to come out on the top left, starting from the top left. Um, that one's the crown break. <laughs> So the thing about Exodor is that it's going to have its own fishing locations as well as hidden fishing locations. And you can only use the baits that are in the Reputation Merchant. You can't use the uh, regular baits that you have and the ones that you can craft because they're not going to allow you to do it. You have to use the ones from the Reputation. The content of fish that you get are pretty much going to be the same though. Um, I'll talk more about that reputation card later. And yeah, since fishing is specific to Exodor, it has its own fish crates as well as cooking recipes. Um, on the bottom right, you get the uh, Orgoth elixir that you can buy. And that's it costs like 200 reputations, which is pretty in inefficient. But as long as you do your uh, daily quest, there, there are daily quests that give you these essence, the so you should be able to use the gem platforms without b purchasing it from the reputation merchant. Next one. Um. Yeah. I was about to ask something and I forgot what it was. Oh no! But um, mm -hmm. Tangerine and Glicky were wondering if you can save the islands in your journal. Like Elite has that little location journal the travel journal thing that you can save yeah. things in can you save so any of these talk islands about that on this i was going to talk about that in the next slide yeah definitely you can definitely save the locations in your travel journal i think it was called travel journal but yeah yeah, yeah but you're only limited to 10 spaces that's yeah, not there's, a, there's no not problem so saving it what i usually save if we start moving on to the next slide is the two locations for Machnak and the Avion field boss. <laughs> Avion yeah. field boss? Yeah, it's called Avion, which is basically French for airplane. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Machnak, which I, I have no idea how to say it in English, honestly. That's fine. <laughs> we, just, we just call it Mach. <laughs> Yeah, so that one spawns right in the center of the map at the core and Avion spawns to the bottom right somewhere You can spawn your friend you can use you can't well for for uh, the one in the middle for the belt You can use the priest summons and stuff like that mm -hmm. But for Avion you can't use it. You can only use friend summon Interesting. So it, you have to get someone get there first with the uh, Argaf elixir and get that buff to be able to use the jump platforms. 
and then like have your friends summon you there and all that. Well, we have um, we have like the special account summon that works like yeah. friend summon, but for a full group. So I wonder if we'll be able to use that on NA. We don't have that in Kterra, so uh, it's. I'd like to know that myself. I was thinking about that as well. Yeah. And then, um, what is the item on the bottom that drops from Avion? That is the mask. Oh. So the dragon drops the belt. Uh, that crab over there. It's it's a crab, by the way. It's not <laughs> something new. Mechanical crab. Loopers, yeah. As it's a mechanical crab that's supposed to be able to fly, but yeah, it drops the mask, the new mask, and. The mask specifically there, it has magical attack, but it can also give you the one with the physical attack. So just replace magical or physical on its own. And yeah, so if you look at the one on the bottom and the right, uh, uh, like if you compare the belt and the uh, mask, you could notice that there's two rolls on the mask, but the other one, it doesn't tell you. So it says one random roll. So like... You get a box when you first when you hit, make the last hit on these guys, and it randomly gives you a physical or magical mask, and it also randomly gives you zero, two, three additional lines on your gear. So if you want like if you want to min max or anything like that, you're, you're just gonna have to keep doing this over and over again or and purchase this somehow. So how does the loot? on these bosses work like how would you obtain the belt is it is it person who gets the last hit on them is it like a raid alliance thing or it's a last hit regardless. so only only one yeah. person only one person out of the 50 60 that fight it will be able to get either the belt or the mask Oof. but <laughs> but i would like to add um they did add a, co a contribution element to it so uh, depending on how much DPS you do, it's just separated into two tiers. It's just like low DPS and high DPS. And mm -hmm. it's, it's also a contribution by party. So like people uh, join raids and trying to get the blue box instead of the green box for doing more DPS, doing more group DPS and all that. So if it's yeah. group DPS, that's actually good for healers as well then, right? Exactly. So healers Wonderful. don't have to like try too hard they just have to heal because <laughs> i know a lot of people who do this they die yeah and i died like quite a few times had to like res somewhere else and teleport myself with travel journal back into the area try to get lost it so oh, no. yeah i and, died um... like three times once <laughs> if you what was my question help my brain if you um get the blue or green contribution box, would yeah. you have a chance of getting the belt and mask out of either of those, or is it only the blue one? Nope. It's it's only the last hit. But Ooh. the box itself has these pieces, right? These fragments. They mm -hmm. added some fragments to it. Uh, and you can trade those. You can right-click to open, like, a, a exchange merchant kind of thing. Oh. And get the mask itself. I think I remember that. I think I remember um, yeah. Pua saying that it took, like, 400 Manak jaw pieces to trade in for the belt. Yeah, so you need 400. Same thing with the mask. But um, the green one, is, if I remember correctly, gives you four. And the blue one gives you six to eight. I, I forgot which, how many. The green one for sure gives you four, though. All right, all right. So you need to do it 400 times, but it, uh, it's one of those, like, choose, you get four guaranteed and you choose, like, one to four for, mm -hmm. like, the additional stuff. You can also get pieces from there as well. Nice. So you're not limited to four per box. And uh, Sanjay asked, didn't they remove yeah. World Bams because they were glitched somehow? They weren't glitched. It's just that there's a lot more activity in KR that... Like each world boss, uh, each field boss is gonna have like 80 to 100 people just killing it. So, whenever these things spawn, they die in two minutes because there's so many people there trying to DPS. So, when people started getting, you know, DC'd, it, uh, Nexon couldn't do anything about it, BH just really couldn't do anything about it. So, they were like, oh, we're gonna turn this off temporarily so we can fix it. So it was just an issue of having, like, too many people there? Yeah. That, uh, probably won't be a problem in NA. 
Hopefully, um, hopefully not. I, I, don't know. I, I like, can't. It's, I it's can't see there being like a hundred people... plus people. It's great that people won't be DCing, but it's also like, I hope there's more people trying to get it. Like, yeah, you know. Like same thing with like the 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 other field bosses like, Sarah's Hazard and Ortan. Like they die within two three minutes. Yeah. Which I happen to notice in NA, it never happens. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many people off to the side. I wonder why. Waiting, waiting to try and get the last hit in, I guess. I was just waiting there. I was like, why are they standing there? Huh. Uh, Zero, Help what news out. are you talking about, friend? I did not get the news. We did not get the news. Yeah. And yeah, just moving on to the gear in general. Oh, I think Zero is talking about just, just the patch in general. Like, what's going to happen for us? When's the next patch going to be or something like that? No, I am I'm not sure what Zero... You meant the partner stuff? Oh, like the, uh, the video call and whatnot? Yeah, 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 Zero. <laughs> no, no webcam, Zero. The mask looks so out of place. A little bit. Yeah. The mask, but like... It goes really nicely with the new gear, well, I think, as the, just the background itself. And it, I guess the red color on the jewelry is going to stand out a bit more. And uh, just off the bat, one of the first things I notice is uh, on yeah. that weapon, it has a line mm. that says 23.6% cooldown reduction. So does that mean Ooh. even though we got our two lines of cooldown reduction removed on the new gear, our singular line is going to be very much higher than it is now? So that one on the left is the Mystic's weapon. The one on the right is the Priest weapon. Okay. They both have 23.6% cooldown reduction. Okay. And they're, they are the only two classes with 23.6% cooldown reduction. Oh my. So tanks and DPS, we only get 7.2% or something. 6.9, 7.2. So any class that roll double cooldown will not be able to do that anymore with the new gear. Yeah. Rip warrior, rip, I don't know, I think brawlers too. Brawlers, yeah. No double cooldown anymore. Lancers too, yeah. They're, they're pretty much... They're, yeah. Um, yeah, so they did remove crystals from the new gear. So, like, a lot of the damage increase, they're just carried over from your crystals into the actual rolls that you have. And... The one on the left doesn't have any random rolls, but the one on the right has two of those random rolls. The purple line means it's like the best that you can get, the highest number mm -hmm. value that you can get for that specific roll type. So if it's like physical damage, the, if you get a purple physical damage, you have the highest value of physical damage you can get on a random roll. And you can get up to three random rolls or you can get none like the one on the left. So it's all it's all just RNG. Um, like if, yeah. Eyeshadow, what what do you mean does the same apply to the mythical gear as far as the cooldown reduction rolls go? I'm sorry I missed your comment earlier. Sorry, keep if talking. It's, <laughs> if it's like the cooldown stuff, then yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty okay. sure it's gonna be the same as this one. Like this is pretty much the new meta right now. Um Budget Tank wants to know why would you use the new gear over the old gear? Um I'm not sure if it's apparent on the uh, archer gear. That's the left one in the middle. You do a ton more damage, like than what you can do with HO plus three. The stat, you the stats are way, way yeah. higher. Yeah, like it's it's uncomparable. So, yeah, like I see archers who do like. 723 to 17 to 23 I think yeah million DPS and like the new dungeons I think 17 mil in the new dungeon so even like, even if classes uh -huh. are now missing that like cooldown reduction role they're doing like at least double the damage flat they were before yeah as long as you can like enchant it not bad the damage you can do it, it really goes high like there's no reason to stay in HO plus three if you if you're all about damage, 
if you're all about gearing and like finishing it. Um, at which plus does the new gear do more damage than HO plus three? Ooh, I think someone told me like plus four to plus six, somewhere in between plus four plus six. Yeah. And I'm assuming the way we enchant this new gear is the same as this system where we just get like drop materials from dungeons. It's gonna be drop material, but um, it doesn't really drop from dungeons. It's it's all in the daily quests as well as the new new monsters on the island mm -hmm. specifically. So like even even though you kill like basilisks down there, you're not gonna be able to get the new enchanting mats. You have to kill the mobs on the island. So it's basically more open world gearing instead of like dungeon. Like the dungeons will drop the actual gear pieces, and then to enchant it, you have to do open world stuff. Yeah, open world mobs will also drop these at a very, very low chance. Like the green one, the blue one, and the gold one. The dungeons definitely drop the blue ones. Alright. And the gold ones at a very, very low rate. Uh, going going back to like which plus does the new gear do more damage than HO, you said between plus four and plus six. Is that yeah. the blue tier gear, or does it have to be the gold tier gear? Oh, I'm talking about gold gear. Okay, yeah. okay. I don't know, but for, like well, personally, I think blue tier does blue tier at plus zero does relatively more damage to than than like Stormcry plus eight. So you, you, you basically yeah. you basically would just want to move immediately over to the new gear set unless unless you're in top tier gear right now. So you'd want to wear your heroic oath plus three until you were able to enchant gold tier gear in two around four to six. Yeah. Exactly. Like okay. I have my alts, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm probably not gonna enchant them at all. I'm just gonna get the blue gear when they they come out, regardless of rolls. Mm -hmm. And as for my archer, which is plus two right now, HO plus two, I'm just gonna keep that because I do more damage on it. And uh, unpredict wants to know how difficult the new gear is to get. It's it's definitely a bit of a grind. Um. The the dungeon does drop the gold gear at a fairly good rate. So it's just getting the rolls gear. on it. Yeah, like you, if if you want to min max, obviously you want to get the best rolls, then you're probably never gonna get it. But <laughs> <laughs> but but you're you're definitely gonna be grinding that quite a bit. Um, Sanjay asks, does it drop a random gold gear piece per class, or is it just like a weapon or smart box? It's gonna be a piece it's gonna be either a physical piece or a, a magical piece so like archers are physical but then you can also get a drop of a magical bow oh boy and they won't that won't be useful at all for you you're just gonna either dismantle it for enchanting gear or try to sell it for other people to buy it and to spend the whole it for enchanting gear and uh, when enchanting you, materials and when you say there's like physical and magical drops um yeah. does that mean there's not going to be any class specific so like there there won't be any cases of a zerker piece of gear dropping in a group with no zerker in it um it could happen but <laughs> it's 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 RNG, it's super rng so there's there's still class locked yeah. pieces of gear then yeah, especially just weapons, if, if we're talking about weapons specifically. Yeah. There's going to be like a bow drop or like a lance drop. It's not going to be smart boxes. And it can either be physical or magical. So you, and, you um, just don't know which one's going to drop. I know that gear has a chance of being damaged if you fail an enchant. But yeah. Assassin yeah. Chen wanted to know if you know anything about gear being completely destroyed failing enchants over plus 12. Because apparently that's a rumor that's been going around. Oh, is that? Um, I don't think it, it, it breaks down entirely, honestly. Um, as far, like, I don't think I've seen anyone having plus 12 or above right now, but I don't think it's going to break down entirely. It's just going to get damaged, and you're going to have to waste a lot of gold to fix it. What does it take to fix it? Is it just gold, or are there materials as well? Like, with the PvP gear, you have to waste the talents. So if you break down the green gear, you're going to get materials, different materials than the ones that you break down from gold gear or the blue gear. And you're going to use that to fix your gear. So you're going to have to run tier. like lower level yeah. content to get the green pieces to be able to repair your higher level gear. Well, you don't really have to 
run lower content you just have to do your dailies and you should be able to get gear efficiently effectively huh. uh, um, the dungeon drops also give you blue blue gear as well mm -hmm. so like if you don't need that blue gear you could just sell it on the broker for like 10k or like 50, it's 10k on k terra so let's just say 10k and and just dismantle it for yourself yeah um nabisi wants to know can you kill the mobs on the island in a party is loot solo or party drops loot is solo drop so you, you're gonna compete for enchanting mats that are gonna draw from monsters and like the enchanting mats are i think rare tier or something like that uncommon at least so it's, it's gonna be rolled hmm. and i think yeah. i think like my question earlier as well sanjay just said so like a party with no slayer can get a slayer sword drop in a dungeon and i think in my zerker's example you said that that is possible right yeah, yeah, that's definitely possible, and it's, it'll just be like an RNG spread of like. I think yeah, no, I I can't say that for sure though, because I haven't been running it. I've only ran like. Back to North North America, so. <laughs> I I would have to ask someone about that specifically, but yeah, I think it's it's totally possible. If it's um... not, then it's great because you you get the 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 items of the people. Yeah. And in your party, so. Um. Sanjay wants to know if PvP is enabled on the island. Oh, uh, I would believe so. Yeah. Oh, so you gotta you gotta watch your back on that island then. Interesting. Uh, I would have to fly up to check actually. That's uh that's definitely interesting if uh, PvP is enabled on that island. I mean they made they made our island of dawn a PVE only area on Kayator, so I'd be I'd be interested to see if it's a PvP oh, zone really? for us. Yeah. Um. I don't know that. I would have to check. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to check. Is is Island of Dawn a uh, PvP zone on K-Terra? That I would have to check as well. I mean, K-Terra is all all about it's it's all just one PvP server. Mm -hmm. But then, like, I don't I haven't seen anyone PvP on open world at all. So, hmm. well, uh, Zaitochi but, wants to know what happens with damaged gear. Do you do less damage, or does it affect the chances to enchant? So you just can't enchant. There's no stat changes. You just can't enchant at all. Oh, that's but, good. So you you just have to fix it to it to be able to enchant. But it costs a lot to fix it. So as far as I know, it costs like seventeen k gold to fix it at, at like a lower enchanting tier. All right. Uh, Penguin also said, "I thought Kaytera doesn't have outlaw anymore." You said there's only one PVP server. So does that mean there's just no PVE server? So no outlaw. It's just pvp whenever well um the only sort of like open world pvp is guild versus guild <gasps> so people do that quite often here so like but uh, i haven't seen that happen usually it's it's for like guilds who have issues when people are grinding on at a spot and they just can't progress because that one guy is just killing every mob that he could hmm. interesting yeah um let me see here. Q6 says, is that 17k gold to fix guaranteed, or is the chance to fix RNG as well? I think it's fixed. Yeah, uh, there's no chance to it. Uh, do any of the dungeons other than the newest one drop anything relevant to the new gearing system besides jewelry no, mats? not at all. You have to run the new dungeon to get the new stuff. Like, you're not going to be running GLS or, like, Bihar to get the new stuff. You mm -hmm. have to run content on the new island, kill monsters on the new island to get new gear, new enchanting mats, and everything. They just pretty much separated, like, the new stuff and the old stuff entirely by having this one island. Or, or multiple islands. Avion, yeah. you can't quit. You're the new world boss. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Olienka says, so you can still use the gear if it's broken, but you just can't upgrade it until you fix it. Yeah, exactly. So you have to fix it to upgrade it, uh, enchant it. Otherwise, you, you just use it as is broken. So, like, both the gears you see on the left and right, they're broken right now. Like, it says broken on their name in red. Yeah, the stats are going to be the same, but you just can't enchant. Yeah, just like PvP gear right now. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's basically copying PvP here. 
Zaitochi asks, what's the point of running dungeons? Um, the new dungeons drop the actual gear pieces themselves, which is the point yeah. of running the new ones. It's not the old dungeons that drop them, correct? Yeah. Okay. Only the new gear, only the new island, only the new monsters. I have a late question, which I think it's been asked before already, but any news on the retool? Is it still to be announced? Nope. They're just gonna wait it out. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be September before they say anything. So be, on, be on the lookout for September news, then. <laughs> I guess, let's see here. Ooh, any more, any more questions on gear before we move on to the card system? Card card system um, gonna be nice. How much were they smoking when they were designing this patch again? <laughs> ah, a lot, honestly. I think they were just like taking another smoke before, like, and then they're like, "Oh, we're not ready. Let's delay it for like a week, and then smoke another few pounds." I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm just say. reminded of that old John Tron video where like yeah. they have no clue how they're designing a Sonic game, and a guy takes a giant smoke <laughs> before he's like, "What yeah. is a Sonic?" Honestly, like I have no idea what they're thinking with this whole thing. Uh, Hitler like, friend. They're feet. gonna pull up Bethesda and hold my beer and see how we can crash this. I mean, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, Hitler honestly, friend. Feet everyone pick everyone, everyone okay. in Kara thinks about like they're just trying to milk as much money out of this game as possible for them to develop air. Yeah, that's like, what a lot of people game. feel like as well. Yeah, like, I, I, I was a bit concerned just because I mean before the dev team I like, actually seemed to have listened a bit because there was an old patch they were trying to release where they were basically locking uh, gear rolls behind a grind wall and there was enough you know anger that they actually canceled that patch and this seems to be even more infuriating but they went through with it which is really weird. Yeah, like I don't know. I think it's all like. Honestly, uh, I'm not really too mad about the developers themselves. It's just that one programmer, uh, one program director. Like, he's been pushing all these concepts. Same thing with, like, fixing your gear and everything. It it's just comes from, like, the other... I think the program director came from, like, a different game. And Black he Desert. also implemented... Oh, yeah, Desert. Yeah, he implemented a lot of the elements from other games that he used to work for into Terra. Cough, cough, hack, Oof. black desert, cough, uh, cough, Q cough. Q6 says, is there any kind of community response we can give to this that might, like, get this kind of thing reconsidered? Because this is straight up suicide for the game. Honestly, uh, I... <laughs> no, sorry. honestly, no. Um, I think the way they handled this patch entirely was their, like, their way of coping with trying not to get any community kind of thing happening because if you guys remember talismans uh mm, yep and we had like a test server for it and as well and people were like we don't want this shit, right and they were they rolled back on that entirely yeah Fuck exactly. Jerry. And, like, <laughs> this time yeah if they listen but this time they didn't have any test server for this content or anything like that they just gave it to us and like, I'm pretty sure they didn't want to waste money trying to develop stuff yeah, they all don't, over they, again. They don't want to admit their mistake, which it's kind of frustrating because I'm trying to see who is this really affecting. Because I can see how there may be some changes that affect newer players and help them. But this just seems to be impacting nobody and in fact further separates newer and casual players even more. No. Uh. I don't know this this content. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's okay. Like it's definitely something you can still play. But if you think about all the stuff you did, like all the grind you did, it, it just makes all everything you did obsolete and like it just goes to waste. Uh, exactly. I, I he had a question I, I going back a second ago yeah. as well. He he wanted to know if the new island is level locked at all. Um, you have to be able to. Well, like the thing is, the new dungeon is level sixty nine. And the new new story quest I think is well all the new gear that you can you get from green gold green blue gold, you have to be level sixty eight to wear it. You you can still get on the island, but you won't be able to do much until you're level sixty eight, and go through the uh, story quest. Like I don't think you can use the jump platforms or anything like that until you go through the story quest. And um, Vegeta wanted to know how much are the <laughs> enchant chances for upgrading um i think he means like what, what percentage do they start at do you possibly know for like the success 
Um, <laughs> I couldn't tell you. It doesn't say. <laughs> it doesn't tell you. Like it, it. It really doesn't tell you. It just tells you it takes gold, and the new enchanting materials, and voila, good luck. Oh, so like on our on our gear right now, like if I open up like my my earring, it'll say you know I have a twelve percent success chance. Yeah. This new gear does not tell you that. Absolutely not, and you don't get any like reinforcements kind of thing for failing. Oh no. Yeah, it's just super RNG. My heart. <laughs> it's like it's like going back to like plus fifteening masterwork here from back in the old days. That's you just terrible. like keep doing it, except you also fail and you break your gear, destroy your gear for it. And you have to fix it before you can try another attempt. Oh, you know that's a good that's a good point. I didn't even notice. Chrissy said so much for all these smart dyads. EMEs giving away for free because they'll be worthless. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no smart dyads is not. Is there any possibility that this patch might simply not come over to EU or NA? Ugh. Um... I I doubt it because. I mean, the, the EU and NA team don't really have any alternative way to do stuff, and if they start they like, taking apart the builds, it's going to create issues in the future. Yeah, if, the, if the, the more differences that you make to a build, the more work they have to do to bring any build over from KR. So, it would only delay patches each time. Um, Petrich, I wouldn't say stop gearing in AFK till the next patch, since the HO plus 3 is still relevant until you get yeah. around, like, a gold piece of gear to plus 4 to plus 6. So your, your Honestly, HO... You're gonna have a hard time if you're not, like, HO plus 1 or above in the new dungeon. Especially healers. It's a, it's a very healer-dependent dungeon. Uh, same thing with, like, GVH and stuff. It's, it's very healer-dependent, so you definitely want to gear your characters. And, There's uh, a lot of one shots. I got I got one shot a lot with HO plus zero. So. And, uh, yeah, sleepy. These these are patches that are already out in Korea. So this is pretty much just uh, showing yeah. us what we have waiting for us in in NA and EU. Yeah, this is what you guys are gonna get in a few months. And it's not that bad, honestly. There's a lot of grind element, but it's not that bad. I'll just say that. Uh, Ahi wants to know how many K-Terra people you think are quitting the game over these new updates. Honestly, I had more people come back <laughs> <laughs> than actually quit, so I don't know what to tell you. Gambling um, addicts! There are definitely people who left the game. There are people who came back trying to relearn the game, so yeah. Uh, as far as like people around me, uh, a lot of people came back to play the game, so yeah. I mean, it doesn't have, you don't have to grind a new gear. HO plus 3 is sufficient, and, and like, unless you want, like, min-max early on, then grind a bit. Like, if that's your thing, then go for the new gear and everything. Like, no one's stopping you, but, like, you don't have to do it. HO plus 3 is totally fine for you to run new content. It might take a while relative to the gold gear, because you do a ton more damage with it. But, yeah, there's, there's nothing, nothing stopping you. Nothing's forcing you to do it. So basically, let me let me try to paint this little street here. If you if you want to min max, you want to get like at least blue gear plus up as fast as possible to get out of your heroic oath. But if you have HO plus three, you're perfectly fine until you get a gold piece to plus four to plus six. Honestly, like a lot of the uh, the advice that a lot of K Terra players are saying is if you have HO, enchant it instead of getting the gold like the blue gear cuz mm -hmm. blue gear I, I don't no one thinks the blue gear is worth it like a few a, f a few weeks into the patch there were a lot of gold gear on the trade broker anyway mm -hmm. so yeah if you can get gold gear just go for it like i i had a friend who was in stormcry plus 8 i believe and he just bought the gold gear cuz you can i mean it's obviously a lot more expensive it costs like 300k but people just would rather do that than get the blue one. So green, green and blue is basically just transitional if you already don't have Heroic Oath. Yeah. As far as my alts go, I'm definitely just gonna gear it in blue, because I'm not gonna, like, try to min-max my alts, but, like, for my main, I would just wait for some gold gear, or just enchant my HO, because it's way more worth it than the blue ones. So anyone, anyone still gearing up their HO right now, it is in their best interest to get it to plus three. Yeah. Like, there's no reason not to. 
when the new content comes out, you're just gonna have a better time running the new instances, instance, sorry, one instance, than having like not enchanting your HO right now. Uh, Big Odago, we'll get to the pets in a little bit, friend. We're still on the gear at the moment. Yeah. Uh, Q6 pets. wants to know um, the importance of proper positioning for tanks and DPS, and if it's diminished now because there's no crystals anymore. Um, the new gear is highly efficient, uh, I would have to say. So, like, I know some people who just change their boots and gloves with the new gear, uh, even even at plus zero, for to be able to like not get one shot by certain mechanics in the new dungeons. Like, they they function so much better than HO, relatively. Does that answer the question? I, I'm not even <laughs> sure if I, if I answered the question. I think he properly. means like as far as yeah. like front critting and back critting goes, maybe. Oh, cause cause you don't have dyads. Yeah. Um. Nah. I don't think so. Well, like tanks are always at the front, DPS is always at the back. Like I, I don't know what else, what kind of positioning people expect. Like, um, I don't know, like, don't tanks usually tank at the front and DPS <laughs> at the back and healers on the side or something like that? Primish says boss back has less crit resist, doesn't it? Yeah, but you're not going to have a tank behind along with the DPS when the tank is going to turn towards the, the person with the aggro, though. I like, mean, sometimes that, DPS I go on it from the side, so... Uh... Like... Well, you could now. Incorrectly. Considering, like, yeah, you could now, considering, like, crystals don't have that backward thing anymore. Mm hmm Like, yeah. So, like, a That's DPS, a, yeah. like, hitting it from the side instead of the back isn't going to be a massive DPS loss like it would be now. Yeah. Um, mm. If you enchant the new gear, is there a chance of it regressing, like the PvP gear? Yes, Ocolina. Um, it has a chance to deteriorate when yeah. you enchant it if you fail and you have to repair it to be able to enchant it again when your gear is broken however it's you can still use it there's no stat deficiency it's just you can't enchant it again yet right and i forgot to add it's plus seven and above for it to break so you can enchant up to plus seven without breaking it at all um is there any like in the old masterwork system, if you went above like plus 13 or so, you had a chance nope. of failing all the way back down to 12 if you failed. Is there any of that in this new system? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, there's nothing like that okay. here. It's just breaking. A lot of breaking. Um, Assassin Chen asks, do warriors still have the head-on passive or zerkers with the cyclone front slash side crit passive? Do those still exist? Yeah, so class passives and all that still exist. So like whatever your class is optimal to DPS, you're just gonna stand in that position. Like I say like, it won't really matter. Like some people say it won't really matter whether you DPS from the back or the side, but like you're always gonna have to consider class passives and all that. Because, like, an archer is not definitely not going to be attacking from the side. You're just going to lose DPS. Uh, Tangerine asks, do weapons still have damage from behind rolls? No, those are... Uh, let me check, actually. I honestly don't think so. It's just going to have that additional crystals. Uh, the effects from crystals all added up into DPS rolls. Warriors playing from the side. No big deal. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. How expensive is the enchanting, Toot wants to know? Um, all of that usually just costs a lot of the enchanting materials, so that's gonna be the hard grind. I don't really think it's gonna be, like, too gold, uh, expensive, but uh, repairing your gear does cost a lot. So it'd be a bit... So, like, less gold farming and more material farming. Yeah. Like, it, okay. at start, you're only gonna have, like, two cost. It's, it's only gonna cost two to enchant, two enchanting materials to enchant, but then it's gonna keep climbing. So, like, two, so, four, eight, sixteen. Oh, so it's like the old feedstock system all over again. Yeah. Uh, Ocolina asked, are materials like silver and gold plates still used to enchant even in the higher like new gear system no it'll only be up to ho the new gear won't be using the old materials oof <laughs> uh, sorry if I, if I can slip in one more question um yeah 
will we be able to still get um, HO mats, and would it be a bit easier to get? Uh, depending on what HO mat you're talking about. Hammers. Hammers. No, it'll just be. Well, K Terra just got their um. Got Forsaken Island, sort of their own extreme mode, which they only just added no revives at all. So, um, you get all of the uh, Bahar drops from Forsaken Island hard mode. Uh, and there's also ba uh, Bahar itself, and the uh, Wandering Merchant or the Secret Merchant. Secret Merchants have uh, like that one mallet that you can buy. So like there's like little uh, stuff that you can still buy mallets from or get mallets from. So unlike when we got rid of the plus fifteen patch, we can still try to try to enchant our HO so that we can still use it later on. So it, it's yeah, not. Okay, so it's not completely. So, so no one's going to be screwed if they don't reach plus three before the patch. Yeah, no, like you, you can still enchant your HO. Like all the all the old content content is still gonna be there. They just added on top that new gear set with the okay. new island. Yeah. And with the rumor that there might be retooling, so not everything is gonna be completely for all. Yeah, exactly. So HO is still gonna be useful. People are still gonna enchant it. Okay. But like, if I was like HO plus two, right? I'm HO plus two, and I get a bow with like awesome rolls on it, a gold new gold weapon. Then I'm probably just gonna switch over, and like not enchant my HO. I could while I'm like doing new content with the new gold bow, but like yeah. Um, Eyeshadow. When you say can't be destroyed, I'm assuming you mean like if you fail enchanting. Uh, Seraph said that there is no destruction on enchant fail. There's only the deterioration. So your gear, no matter what plus you're at, can only have a chance of breaking. It will not get destroyed. It's like the PvP gear now where you just can't enchant it. So like he said, he, he, no stat changes. It's just you can't upgrade it until you fix it. Yeah. And there is no stat change on broken items. So... You can walk That's around good. with like a plus 10 broken gear, but you, you'll you still do same game damage regardless. Yeah, I, I want to say there's like, I remember when they had the event server open years ago, there actually was like items that would degrade the gear, like stat. Mm, uh, was there? I think it didn't make it past close beta or something. Uh, yeah, maybe like a test server. Yeah, yeah it, it was a test, like a test slash event server. And uh... TSM Wukong asked, how will the gearing progression be for alts? Like, do you skip to Heroic Oath now? Or, I assume you'd want to start in, like, the green gear if you're a fresh character, right? You need to be level 68. To wear it right. So what would you wear, wear before that? The, uh, you're just gonna have to go through Twist Shard, Frost Metal, and, like, Storm Cry. But, like, if I were you, I would get Twist Shard. Go farm that basilisk for the dimensional portals. Level up your character to level 68 and just wear the blue one or the green one, whichever one's cheaper for you. Yeah. All right. Um, any more yeah. questions on the gearing system before we move on to everyone's favorite part, the card system? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Twist shard to 68. No thanks. Oh yeah, no. Twist shard to sixty eight is totally fine for grinding bams. If you're if you're just leveling an alt cookie and like grinding like those portals he said earlier that you can get to seventy in like four hours, twist shard would be probably perfectly fine for that. Yeah, like twist shard, frost metal. I think frost metal should like not slow everyone else down. Um, like it's, it's a lot easier to enchant with the with the new patch so also yeah, yeah on na you get the base frost metal from doing a quest i'm assuming we're gonna retain that once this new gear system gets rolled out oh yeah Didn't so that's that. that's good for us know. at least i always do, forget do we, about do that we too. still have that guardian gear thing or um, did they just get rid of it entirely we still have guardian gears like you hit 65 you get your guardian gear and then you do a quest that you can basically get all the mats to enchant it up to frost metal oh okay so we don't have guardian gear anymore once you hit level 65, you get to shot. Interesting. So I wonder how that'll yeah. work here then. Maybe yeah, they'll like retool if you, that. If you look at the uh, reputation merchant, you, you can only buy Twist Shard gear. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm not surprised. We've missed out on a lot of patches. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, Wukong, yeah. yes. Leveling is easier and faster now, just as like a speed recap. There are two new ways to get experience super, super fast in um, the dimensional portals that spawn while you're killing world monsters. I think you said the basilisks, right? Uh, basilisks, the dragons, like any any level 66 to level 70 boss, like the, new, the, the, the leveling bosses that you can find, they're going to drop caimans, which might drop dimensional portals. Yeah. And you said, like, through those portals, you can get to 70 in about four hours, right? Oh, no, like, I don't, it's, it's weird, because um, it all it all depends on your RNG, but, like, I said from level 66 to level 68 was about four hours. Okay, well, I mean, close. Yeah. That's still like, way faster than it is now. Yeah, no, it's, it's amazing. Like, I, I wouldn't be able to do that in four hours and, and go up, like, <laughs> 5%, and I'll be like, fuck it. Right. <laughs> Yeah, There's... so it's good grand content. Um, it gets you to level really fast. Like, yeah, it's kind of like the old level sixty to sixty-five in terms of time, but it's just grind content. Yeah. yeah, they're finding more ways to monetize dungeons because the more you need to run, the more coins you'll use. It's all about the money. It is all about the money. The new dungeon costs three hundred and eighty-five adventure coins to run. So, you won't be able to run it a lot. Hashtag mobile game Vow system. For life. I believe you said it cannot go lower than the current level you're at. can only break and then you fix it and keep going. Yes. So, if you're at plus 12 and you fail and it breaks, it will still be plus 12. It will just be broken. If you look at the screenshot, the two weapons in the front, the mystic staff and the priest staff, they have a little red text next to their name. That means they're broken. Their stats are unchanged. Their plus is still the same but they need to be repaired before you can continue enchanting them again. Yep, sounds good. Assassin Chen said, the question is how often do these portals even spawn? I think you said it depends on your RNG, but within an hour you can go, like, get a couple of them at least, right? I've known, I've seen groups that literally get just one portal, and I've seen other groups that get up to, like, seven, eight. Yeah. And like groups that get over like 10 they're just super great RNG right there um, I think about 6 to 7 is relatively like the, the relative mean um, and um, yeah you get a lot of EXP from it Avantis asked how do you repair gear I remember it was like a flat chance and you said 17k gold I can't remember if there were materials for it though it, 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 co it does cost a lot of materials as you as your enchanting tier is higher but like it costs gold and enchanting materials and to get oh yeah to get the materials to fix it you have to like degrade like disenchant rather like the green gear yeah you have to dismantle okay yeah basically it's like the old feedstock system and you're basically you're kind of using feedstock to repair your gear yeah dismantle get stuff use it to fix your stuff Easy, easy. Not too bad. All right. So, feel, uh, like, no. Uh -huh. I say I feel bad for people on console because they just got the new gear system <laughs> kind of recently. And now they're going to a whole new new system soon. Yeah, so they're looking way ahead into the. Do I really want this new gear? Oh no, <laughs> poor console. And uh. Console. All right. I guess let's yeah. head on over to the card system. I love the cards. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh all over again. Oh no. <laughs> so if you look at the screenshot, I've, I've already got a lot of cards, but like, it's, it's not even close to like 10%. I have like, how many is there? Three by like 18 cards right there. Yeah, so um, you do get a few, like 10% of the whole card thing through doing dungeon, uh, the story quests and like a zone quest they give out. So. You should be able to get a, f a few of those cards. One of the cards is, um, I don't know if, if the uh, translation worked in the same way. It's called Tro, like whoever that guy is. The guy who's like the bomb specialist guy who's trying to blow up Exodor, but he failed kind of guy. Yeah, so his card gives you about 2k physical attack and 2k magical attack. And you have to equip those cards for them to be active. 
starting point is nine points you get nine points in total each card has their own cost to it that card specifically costs six six points i believe and yeah there's different card types as well uh, as far as types there's like the human ones monsters gathering fishing and scenery um the the first few are definitely people like the npcs the next few are there's i have some monster cards which have all which all have different effects and the last one at the bottom right is a fishing one which i think it decreases like time you have to wait and like there's different tiers for each card so there's regular cards that are white and the uh green ones there's only green the the common one and the uncommon types the common tier costs a lot uh, a few more points to equip than the uh, green tier as well as give you less effect so so for the points uh, for cards is it like the glyph yeah. system where you have a set amount of points that you can dole out or do you have to somehow farm points it's, it's the same thing as the glyph system you start with like nine points but as you keep continuing like collecting cards and stuff you go up in your card ranking your, your card index ranking and it should give you more points so like at rank one of your card thing you get up to you get nine points at rank two you get 12 points i think in total so just the more cards you yeah. collect the more points you have to equip more cards yeah and the thing is though oh yeah you you should be able to equip the, the there's a limit to the, the type of limit cards that you can equip so i can only equip one of each type at the start but i'm pretty sure you it, it unlocks you to equip more than one card of the type when you say one of each type do you mean like one human one scenery or like one common one green one human one scenery yeah okay. like i can equip one fishing one human one monster, one scenery type of card so you can but, you can equip yeah. like one of each type and they can all be the like max level if you have enough points right yeah okay um sleepy wants to know are the cards soul bound or can every character use them on your account this card system is account based so all of the characters on your account can use it yeah um, I don't know. I don't know if it works on like level zero or something like that. So even even if you're uh, not interested yeah. in any of the like gathering or crafting card buffs, you're gonna have to get them to increase your card rank. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Cookie has a good point. Is the card system account or server? Uh, oh, hmm. I like. I, I I can't check that on KR. <laughs> I think it's server. I think it's server based. I was gonna it say we, we had a problem on NA with like our uh, our EP system where like if you transferred servers it would just delete <laughs> your EP. Yeah, like because yeah. there's only one server in KAR right now. Oof. I, I wouldn't be able to check that for you. And is the card system like I mean I know it says physical attack and magical magical attack plus two thousand but since we don't have the new system we don't exactly yeah. have a scope of if that's a lot or if that's a little so are these cards like heavily useful for combat? Oh yeah, definitely. And and think about like I think these cards really change how much DPS you do. So like uh, the more cards you collect, the more DPS you're gonna do. With not only the cards itself, but like. There's also like collection set bonuses that you can get if you go to the next slide. Yeah. If you look at the next one, there's a set effects and the the first one that's highlighted that I have that I have equipped, that one's like given out as a uh, zone quest. But yeah, there's set bonuses which give you different effects. So, so the one at the top is like damage, increased physical damage by 200 as well as like uh physical defense to beast type monsters and there's other effects that give you like crit power crit factor um increase damage increase movement speed 
a 30% chance to increase your magical power by 700, something like that. Yeah, there's a lot of set bonuses that you want as well. And I know you said some of these cards came from just doing the story quests and zone quests, yeah. but how, yeah. how else would you farm them besides doing quests? Um, they do drop from dungeons, uh, the dungeon ones specifically. They do drop from dungeons. Gathering ones, obviously you have to gather a lot to be able to get the card itself. That just replaces your gathering loot with a card. Same thing with fishing. If you fish a lot, then, then you get a card every once in a while. Uh, and yeah. Um, the dungeon cards, though, I, they are party-based. So like, if you get a card in Everyone the party... Gets it? everyone gets one well, that's good yeah. at least yeah and uh Before, well they recently changed it like the first week they came out with this patch there was one person getting the card but then like we yeah, like no one could get the whole set so <laughs> they changed that so there's a chance that when this patch releases on na it could be only one person gets a card until they roll out the hotfix um i'm pretty sure we we would be getting the entire build together hopefully yeah um, I mean, it's, it's a few months away. They should be able to bundle all that. How are the drop rates on cards, and do any come from the world bams as well? Ooh. World bams, yeah, they do drop from world bams. I, I don't know, I actually don't know if everyone in the raid gets one. Hmm. Yeah, the field bosses have their own. Yeah, they, um... I don't think Avion has one, but I definitely know... Mahnak also has one for himself. Uh, that guy specifically... Just one sec. No problem. Yeah, he steps, he gives you physical damage, 2,361 physical damage to Argaf-type monsters, which is just monsters on the new island. <laughs> oh, Avery, one of the bosses is called Avion. It's the, yeah. the mechanical crab. <laughs> yeah, it's the mechanical crab. Um, are the dungeon cards guy. the best cards for combat, or is it kind of like you want to get a set effect, so you have to get different cards from different places to get the set? Um, the, you want to get the cards for the set, for specific set bonuses, and you also want to equip good cards. Like, the set bonuses, you don't have to equip the specific cards for that set, for the effect you, it's, it's a collector's effect so as long as you have the cards you get that effect and if you equip that set you can I, um i think you can only set one at the very start and as you level through you should be able to uh equip more than one set that being yeah. said yeah this, you, you want to get different cards that give you the best effect like one of the story quests Cards are like increased physical damage by 2700 for Argaf types, which is really good for farming the new island, but it's not going to be any useful elsewhere, like in, in the dungeon. Because they're going to be different monster types. Um, There's also, yeah. Will cards affect battlegrounds like EP does? Are these like active in a battleground? As far as I know, yes, they will be. So there's also cards that have PvP effects to them. Oh my. That's, that's, that's not that big, but they do have fits, uh, PvP effects, so yeah. And then uh, on, on the screenshot, there are two different boxes. So like there's the set effect box where you like you can see the different sets of cards. But what's that like standalone card where it says, you know, cost six out of nine and it's like a little fish, fishy card? Yeah, so the one on the right is the cards that you can equip. At the very start, you can equip up to two cards. You have two slots. And then you need to increase your uh, index ranking to be able to equip more than one. At rank two, you get up to three. Uh, rank three, you get up to four, four to five, five to six. Yeah. So uh, you need to collect a lot, a lot more cards to be able to equip more cards. Mm -hmm. And you also get more cost points to to equip more cards. Yeah. The, a lot of the PvP cards are from scenery, apparently. They're from... I'm sorry, what? Collecting scenery cards, which is just like the dungeon cards. Ex yeah. That doesn't seem 
too bad if everyone in the group gets the card as a dungeon drop. Yeah, uh, increase PvP by two, three, increase uh, healing by three points, three percent, something like that. Yeah. But then you also have to remember you can't equip more than one of the same type of card, like the scenery cards. You can't equip two, three scenery cards. You can only equip one. So there's also that limit. Do you get any cards from doing PvP? I don't think so. Cool. Which is pretty, pretty, pretty lame, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all these cards say, like, you have to defeat... What is it? DRC? I forgot what it was called. Yeah. Dark Reach Citadel? Yeah, Dark Reaches. <laughs> to get this card, you have to defeat Red Refuge. You have to kill monsters in the new island. You have to kill monsters in... Granarchus hmm. to get a card, stuff like that. And these all these cards sort of like have their own limit to them. Like they're specifically for like certain types of monsters. So like like I said, um like I said, Argaf type monsters will get like this card's effect. Some other monsters are like magical machines, magical creatures, uh demon types, dragon types gods giants as well so like different cards have different effects for different monsters mm -hmm. and like you you want to be able to equip various cards at various situations and match them for specific situations appropriately so you're gonna hmm, so you're gonna have to have min max your cards depending on the mob or boss you're fighting and you're also gonna yeah. have to do that with like your your gear stat lines, aren't you? Because, like, some bosses are going to have higher, like, magical defense than others and whatnot. Well, yeah, sort of. Your weapon, your gear is going to be pretty static because your skills themselves are going to be either physical or magical. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I meant to say, like, the, the defense, not the attack. You're going to want to have, like, different defense based on the boss you're fighting, right? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. So you're yeah, gonna have to have cards, like a different yeah. card set and a different gear set depending on if you need magical or physical defense. Yeah, a lot of people just go for the damage. I know a lot of people are damage hungry mm -hmm. to show off on moon gourds and so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think a lot of people use defense, even healers nowadays, because they, they the healers do a lot more damage than before with oh. the change to crit power instead of attack speed. With, ba um, battle, battle priest nostrils. incoming. Yeah. Like, I, I, I've seen, like, this priest who does, like, 17 mil damage in RK, so... <laughs> well, it's burst damage, but still, they do a lot more damage than before. That is a hell of a lot. Mm -hmm. This is the new meta. Everyone wants to do more DPS than actually, you know, clear stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. time, to, time to teach me how to do damage, honestly. Well, are there any other questions on either the gear or card system? I think that's it. Hey. Okay. Um, yeah, that sound, sounds like we covered all of that. Mm -hmm. And I, I as, a, as an interest here, because people were asking about it, and I know Big O'Doggo asked earlier in the stream as well. Yeah. Let me just, uh, let me bring this up. Let's go. You, you can get... You can get skins for your partners now. Isn't this okay. great? Isn't that wonderful? You can spend all this money rolling <laughs> the perfect partner. And now you can buy skins for them. And, I and play... I actually really like the skins. You can yeah. play a little pretty princess dress up with your pets. Best part of the game. Dress up. <laughs> I actually really like... Mary and and the other one. The I mean, they're Mary. they're hella cute, but that's a little cute. that's like pushing the limits of what you can get people to pay for. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty cute. Finally, real content, right? <laughs> yeah. I wish they come up with more costumes, though. Like actual costumes for your character. No, like even just your partners. Ah. I mean, costumes more? are in game. Costumes are yeah. the real end game. <laughs> Partners are right seething. There. I'm glad. I'm glad you're happy, Big O Doggo. 
Can we have matching costumes? That's a good point. Why can't we wear the same oh. costume as our pet? Don't talk to me or my wife's son ever again. <laughs> oh, I should, I should, you know, go on KTERA forums and be like, get us costumes, get us matching costumes. <laughs> well, that, uh, that should cover absolutely everything unless there are more questions in the chat from anybody about the upcoming systems yeah devs remove crystals and come up with a new gear system so everyone does damage but the people that do no damage now won't do damage with the update either <laughs> pretty much yeah go on the forums now so I'm gonna roll back uh, the patch at the very least you know people who don't know anything about crystals setups and everything they don't have to really worry about that I know people who just walk around with four pound in crystals and just, they do like literally nothing and you tell them they're doing something wrong they're like you're being elitist and I'm like no dude it's, it's... Uh, Penguin yeah. wants to know does Kterra have any new innerware Innerware? Oh, not yet. Not yet. They they just came out with the pause thing. I don't know if like the cat thing. Well, like not just come out. They came out uh, with the, that's the latest one so far, and I I really hope they don't come out with anything new. <laughs> um, our stats on gear RNG. Um, I do believe they are right. So the gear will drop with just like random stat rolls on it. There are random stat rolls. They're like the the twenty percent and like the twenty three percent stuff like that. Those are static, but there are random rolls that you can get up to three rolls. Or and if you're unlucky, you get absolutely no roll. And those give you like various stats, kind of like infusion, but worse than infusion, I, I think. Oh my. Are yeah. there still going to be infusions on the new gear, or is that like a defunct system as well? They're gonna get... you, you can Im use infusion on new gear, so like if, if you have any good stuff, good blight, oath, blight, whatnot saved up, keep that for the new gear, yeah. Uh, hello, Reefy. Uh, does heroic convert? If not, then how will the new gear be obtained? Uh, there's no information on Heroic Oath conversions as of yet. There's only speculation from Korean players. So we don't have any information. And he said there probably wouldn't be until September. Um, the new gear yeah. drops from the new dungeon. And so you want to get a piece that is good for your class. And then you get enchanting mats from doing the open world stuff on the new island, correct? Yeah, so yeah, exactly what you said. You can also get um, new gear for killing monsters on the new island, but at a it's, it's a very low rate. At a very, very low rate. Um, most people just grind enchanting mats off the uh, monsters. Off. And from dungeon drops, the gear drops, they just dismantle it for enchanting or fixing your gear when it breaks. Show the new stats again, sure, friend. Go back a few slides. that one yeah so they remove crystals so there's a lot of like 20 percent damage to monsters and rage monsters attack speed cooldown re reductions for healers will the dps gear have a higher attack speed roll since their cooldown reduction is a lower roll probably not <laughs> <laughs> probably and then not. since this is gear that's like randomly dropped uh, the two stats on the bottom with like the little green swirlies next to it, that's like the RNG stuff for when it drops, right? Yeah, on the right, the, the white box, yeah. Yeah. That specific weapon has two rolls on it, which the guy is really lucky to get. I think the one at the top is the increased magical damage. And it's also purple, so it's the highest value you can get. So at least, at least it'll tell you if it's the highest value or not, because it'll be like purple, yeah. gold, and I'm assuming there's also blue, yeah. green. Um, it's it's either gold or green, uh, gold or purple. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Colors. Colors. Also, yeah, Wukong. The twenty four percent is only for healers. It is lesser yeah. for DPS and tanks. The brawler weapon has seven point two percent, four point five percent attack speed. Yeah. But uh, basically, the idea is, if you are in Heroic Oath now, 
you would want to be getting your gear to plus three and then honestly you're, you're just gonna have a better time grinding stuff with heroic or three yeah plus three for the new content because like i go in there i i went on my alt to go through the story quest and i just cannot do it i was dying all over the place like even my archer had such a rough time on that new island that i was like i wish i had enchanted earlier you know <laughs> So there is, there's no reason to stall enchanting. Like, if you're working on your Heroic Oath, go ahead and get it to plus three. Yeah. Like, and then... There's no reason not to. To upgrade from Heroic Oath, you start doing way more damage with the new gear set at gold tier rarity. Between yeah. plus, I think you said three and six, right? Or was it four and six? Four and six, yeah. Okay. You just feel like it does more damage from plus four and above. Uh, how much CDR does the warrior weapon have, do you know? 7.2. So it seems like the DPS weapons are all, like, 7.2 CDR only? Yeah, it's gonna be double in rage regardless of what you want, except for healers. But it seemed like, um, if I go back a couple slides here, the, uh, the well, like, mask uh, has CDR on it, right? Yeah, well, masks always have CDR. I guess, like, I don't think any class is use power or crit factor yeah do they yeah no um, like i've never seen a class who would prefer power or crit factor mass over CDR, CDR. same as trans oof yeah yeah but like they add um physical or magical damage to it so it's like even though you have zero absolutely no rolls on it it's gonna be so much better vox use power i've never seen a valk use power I don't know, the min-maxing on KR and NA seems to be different for Valks. I wonder why. No idea. You're yeah. working on Stormcry, yeah. should you continue? Most definitely, Leafy. You want to be pushing for your Heroic Oaths so you have an easy time as possible with the new content. Yeah. Like, um, I, I did most of my content with a healer, by the way. Like, I can not get through the new content by myself. <laughs> so you just duoed everything, basically? Yeah, and healers are gonna have a s extremely hard time going through, honestly. Uh -oh. Even though they're, like, plus two and above. Uh -oh. But that's been normal for the past few years. Yeah, like, it's, it's nothing, like, unexpected, but I just felt like I cannot do it by myself. I really needed help. And, uh... I was eating, like, 50% pots everywhere. Yeah. Iyadu asks, the stats that he sees on the left are fixed, so like where you have the 20% damage to monsters, 15%, the MP yeah. regen, attack speed, those are all those like, are always yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Ex except the cooldown for, uh, DPS those, and are for tanks. Th those are for healers. Tanks have an additional line. I should have brought like tank gear. I couldn't find anyone, but I found one. They have like additional aggro, 30% aggro, and like the defense on it. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Mm -hmm. At least we get to team up with healers. At least we're not left in the dust this time. Oh, yeah. No, it, well, like, I think a lot of the the healers, uh, a lot of priests, they were just waiting on Edict pull down <laughs> to move from, like, each group of mobs. Because let's say you have to kill, like, ten mobs and there's only five, then you group up for, like, one Edict and then wait, like, a minute for another set of Edict. That's I don't funny. Know, something like that. And, uh, or you can get a DPS and just blaze through somehow. Penguin wanted to know if there's other types of masks besides CDR, or is it like just a CDR mask, or is that the it's only one on the broker? It's just a CDR. It's okay. just a CDR with either physical or magical damage. Yeah, and it's RNG on which one you get, and you can sell it if you if it's not for you. Oh yeah, you can sell your gear a lot of times. I think the... Uh, what do you call it in, in, in A? For like unlocking your gear so you can sell it? Liberation. Liberating. Liberation. Yeah, liberating. you can do that like five times, I believe. Yeah, so you can do that more than once. Like um... several times. The thing um, KR has been doing recently was selling your enchanting mats. Because those are really hard to grind. Like it takes hours to grind for you to like enchant. So people have been like selling enchanting max by like liberating your gear and then giving it to someone else to enchant for you well like if you're still in ho and you you didn't soul bind your stuff they just keep it 
and like they just ask someone else to enchant it for you and also, obviously you pay them i don't know the rates though hey Otto, i do not understand that question um and boo -boo. the random stats on the right side which can come here is that one yeah Yeah, I don't get it either. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay, Ayato. That's yeah, alright, friend. Uh, which classes do magical damage? I'd imagine it's more than just Sorks, right? Um, Sorks, Priests, Mystic. Mystics, Reapers. Reapers are more magical. The ninjas, too, I believe, which was weird, honestly. Yeah. I think um, he's asking what type of RNG stats we can get. Oh, what type of? Um, there's Crit Factor... A lot of either physical or magical damage, physical, magical defense, um, HP, increase HP, increase MP, and like, there's quite a few. There's like a total of like 30 plus lines. Yeah, this is like, a roll. lot. Yeah. Do we have, it's, do we, sorry. Go for it. Um, will there be a lot of trash lines like we've seen before, or are they trying to consolidate and give us more lines that are useful with a range of value? There's a lot of trash lines, so like, <laughs> this brawler, I, he, he got a gold gear, like a gold armor for himself, it's a metal gear, so he was like, really happy, but it, it also had three lines on it, but it was all just HP. Wow. Yeah. And obviously if you want, if you want some sort of damage, like a min max or like kind of thing you definitely want to go for like physical or magical damage but none of that was happening and having a physical gear won't guarantee you having physical lines on it you could also get magical damage increase on it which is weird but it's just a set of lines and you just randomly get one of them if you have a roll <laughs> in the f yeah no and uh, Leafy, as far as magical being stronger than physical, it's going to depend on what class you are. So, like, as a priest, if I was wearing shit with, like, physical damage lines, that wouldn't be benefiting me <laughs> very much. Yeah. Like, your skills are gonna have, like, it's gonna say, like, it's gonna do, like, some percent physical and some percent magical damage. But then, at the bottom, it's also gonna say this whole skill is just gonna do physical damage. Which is like the weirdest thing. Like I can't get a grasp of how much more damage you do with a physical or like a magical weapon because of it. But like, it's just gonna do physical damage in general. Like if if your class is a physical damage class, yeah. Any chance you can re-roll the random rolls like we could using semi enigmatic scrolls back in the day? I I don't think so. I think you just have to pray to R and Jesus that the right things drop for you, right? You're just gonna run new content. Yeah. You can't re-roll anything. I have a feeling though that they'll do this for a while and eventually add something either by you know some high up item or something on the pay to win shop because this is very similar to the old vm2 rings which were all static and they've oh, yeah. actually kind of phased out of that i mean they're, they're obviously gonna are going to try to release some like little by little so they're, they're definitely not going to change anything now or like in a few months so does that mean that classes that are mostly magic damage based will not really be very good on bosses that have high magic resistance um i don't i don't think you should look at it like that i think the bosses are gonna have like aesthetic magical and physical dam uh, defense like they're gonna be the same value so oh. like it won't really matter which one you use it so will just... just matter on whether your class itself is either f physical or magical then you just have to do more damage depending on it i mean that's that's pretty good then if bosses aren't gonna have like some crazy high magical defense stat in comparison to like a lower physical defense stat mm -hmm. yeah because it, it create this weird sort of extreme meta of you have to have certain classes and it's going to discriminate against others the only way i see that being the thing is in pvp where like say you have a tank with high magic damage for example he can just rush in and you know just smash the sorcerers in the back line but say like a warrior jumps on him he'd probably take a lot of damage just spitballing yeah I, that that could be possible um as far as dungeons go i think some monsters do like physical damage 
like some skills that attacks that monsters do will either be physical or magical something like that mm -hmm. like your defense will depend on it as well as your the cards that you use so like say like some wipe mechanic in a dungeon is physical then you if you want to then you can equip a physical defense card for that specific monster and you should be able to live through it or something like that interesting just speculating on that because like that's that's sort of like the first thing they teach you with cards i mean they, they like attack this monster and like <laughs> okay i'll attack it and then they like equip this card and take a hit and <laughs> i was like oh okay and it basically did absolutely no damage to me for some reason when i equipped the card so yeah a lot of damage reduction for equipping the proper cards or increasing your damage for equipping them yeah so then if there if there's no bosses that have like higher magical resistance and physical or higher physical resistance and magical and it's basically yeah. just like the card system boosting your defense versus certain bosses that are either magical or physical damage is that the yeah. only reason they like split damage into magical and physical is to like make a convoluted guard system pretty much yeah like also there's like <laughs> monsters without any types so like some some of the cards are just useless to them like i, I don't this patch is really like confusing the it thing sounds is, like, like it. i feel like they should have brought out the card system on its own and then another patch with the gear system or vice versa like it's, it's it feels really confusing because everything is packed into this patch yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's just a lot to take in all at once. Mm -hmm. uh, Reefy wanted a quick rundown on the way cards work again. Yeah, so you collect cards for doing story quests. Like, some of the cards are from story quests. Some of the cards are from running dungeons. Some of the cards are for f from fishing. And some of the cards are for grinding monsters on various locations. And having collected 20 card pieces you can equip the card itself each card has its own effect to it so you want to collect various cards for various effects and use the cards at different situations appropriately um you're up at the very start you can use up to like nine points each card has its own card cost and a card type at the start you can use one of each card type and up to nine costs points in total so that card that's shown in the slide there it has six points on it so it costs six points to equip it and then you're left with like three points for you to use a different card for i won't be able to use any more npc cards because that one card itself is an npc card i would have to look for like a monster card or fishing card or, or scenery or something like that yeah i think that's it and uh, uh -huh. can you buy any of the cards from the Kterra cash shop or is this all pure in-game system there's like no it's all pure in-game and but but you can also you can you can sell your card pieces on the trade broker oh so you can like trade cards essentially yeah so like say you're done with your your i don't know some fishing card you can start selling that on trade broker for like 4k interesting yeah is there a way to increase the card capacity, like sort of like talents? Yeah, so if you collect more cards, you're going to be able to equip more cards. Basically, yeah. like it's like a, a completion thing. So at the start, you get you can equip up to two cards, regardless of points. Um, well, like not regardless of points within the point cap. But as you increase your card ranking index ranking, I think on the next slide, it shows like you can equip three cards at rank two, four cards at rank three, five cards at rank four, six cards at rank five, which is the last rank. Yeah. And then uh, cards also have like sets, so set effects if you equip certain cards together at the same time. Oh no no, that's set equip uh, set effect for having those cards completed. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to equip those cards for that effect. You oh, just it's have just to if you have own those them. Cards. Yeah. Oh, so if you own a set of cards, you'll get like a permanent stat boost. You can select up to one or two okay, sets. Okay. Yeah, so you have to equip your set effect as well, which is 
there's a lot of equipping going on. <laughs> <laughs> so you like, have you have your singular yeah. cards equipped for like the specific stats, and then you equip yeah. a set of cards for a different set of stats. Yeah. Stop it's ignoring your meme you questions. Just have to turn on and off. Speaking of meme questions, gnar gnarly gnarly making a joke out of is there a card to negate wave damage on Habar? But are there like specific cards that will be like oh negates damage from this one boss specifically? No, but Bahar is a god type boss, and there are cards specifically for uh, god types. All right, all right. Yeah. Um, what is max item level? Like, if you have full gear enchanted. Um. Wow. I don't think anyone has plus plus the thing. But. Can you collect Exodia? It's actually 475 right now. Oh no, Seraph, you uh, roboted again. I think he said 475 uh, was uh, max? Yeah, 475 for car, uh, item level. Can you collect Exodia? Exodia. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what types are the monsters in the newest dungeon? Um, As far as the cards go, there's like beast types, which is it's like red, red. There's also mechanical monsters, mechanical creatures, mechanical monsters being like RK, um, mechanical, um, not mechanical creatures, ma magical creatures um, for Gosmos Vault, uh, God types for Behar, Dragon types for GLS, stuff like that. Yeah. There's also like, like demon type, which is like dark creatures and stuff. Like and, Dicurion, yeah. I'd imagine, like Lilith or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, all these cards have different effects. One, there's ones that decrease your magical attack or increase in magical damage. I don't know how useful that's going to be. Hmm. But yeah. Are is there only one new dungeon so far? There's only one new dungeon. That's the thing. That's the thing that people hate about this new pad in KR. There's only one dungeon, one new island with like random grind content. And that dungeon itself is a reskin of bosses, of <laughs> two bosses. Which uh, which bosses are they reskins of? Oh, um, the final boss in Red Refuge. That guy is going to be the last boss. Hmm. And Forsaken Island first boss, which is like Interus uh, Abyss second boss. Yeah, reskins of that. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Ryslin asks, you have to set everything up for the dungeon you're running, so like you would go in an IMS and then spend five minutes setting your cards up for the specific dungeon you got? Yeah. Pretty <laughs> much it. I mean, there are cards which, in general, or, or, or are a generalist card, in ge so you just equip that all the time, but there are definitely different cards that you can use for different dungeons if you want to min-max a bit, just just on the card system. Because min max and on gear is pretty much impossible now. What do you What do you mean Q six? A single new dungeon? You get You get an entire island to grind more open world mobs on. Isn't that what yeah, everyone wants? You get like two field boss monster <laughs> things for a mask or a belt. Oh, there's also like this new butterfly guy who's like a replica of the final boss in Gossamer's Vault, and you just do that for like radiant jewelry enchanting mats too i i mean we all know that fishing is the true end game oh yeah definitely you gotta go look for that hidden fishing ground somewhere on one of the islands somewhere what is uh if if the fish places on the new map drop the same fish as other places what's the point of the hidden fishing maps oh i think it's just increasing uh like the the big fish bam baff. Mm, okay okay yeah well, it's not like exactly the same fish, it's like a different type of fish. And they, they dis dismantle into the fillet. Is the new island open PvP? He said on Korea it is, but he also seemed surprised when uh, I said that our island of Dawn was not PvP. Yeah, I think it just works like island of Dawn, like it, I can't PvP on the new island. You can't PvP on the new mm -hmm. island? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said you earlier can't. that you could. I thought so, but I think it's only GBG. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah. that would revive GBG then, if you can do that at least. Yeah. 
No one likes to GVG though. Is there a coin module? Um, a coin module? What? Doggo, what do you mean do we get EP setups like glyphs? I do not understand that question. No oh, one in guilds during like, bands. I think he means like having different pages for EP. Oh, that would be nice. That would actually be nice. That's what I've been sort of like pushing for on like suggestion forums and everything. Mm -hmm. They need to revive their devs because they're brain dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. Not Jason. Crazy stuff. Yeah. You gotta pass me those stuff, man. <laughs> that good stuff. That dank kush. Yeah, I mean, after hearing a lot of this information, yeah. I'm a I'm a little bit more optimistic as far as like how HO isn't just gonna immediately become fucking garbage, but no, you are, you absolutely need the new gear to go through the new island, or, or I mean the the HO. You absolutely need HO to go through the new island. You absolutely need HO to be item level to do the new dungeon as well, or else you're not gonna get in vanguards. Yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of things that I. I don't really see why you're even here. Like, I, I don't understand this split in physical and magical damage. Like, why they did that. I don't understand this, the point of this card system. Like, there's still a lot of stuff that's just like, uh, why is this here? But, I mean, I'm I'm a lot less, uh, the end of the world is nigh. <laughs> yeah, no, no, like, if you look at the card system and the gear thing separately, and, like, assume they had its own patch, they're, they're not that bad. Like, I, I, I think the card system is pretty neat. And like I love how it's account based sort of, I, or, or server based yeah. one of the other. So like I don't have to grind all that on on all of my characters, which I have like nine, fifteen. So yeah, it's really good. And like the gear, um, obviously with the power creep and everything, they were have they were gonna have to replace the current gear set somehow. Sort of like they did with Stormcry back then with like the plus fifteen. So think about like they're just changing the gear setting the system once more and it's, it won't really be too big of a deal except they lumped all this together in one patch and just threw it at us and everyone's just like what the fuck is going on because <laughs> new gear like they told like for the uh, storm cry and stuff they really placed out like what the differences were between plus 15 and the new storm cry mm -hmm. but this time they absolutely gave us nothing and they were like uh we think the plus three on the new gold gear is probably gonna be around HO plus three. And we're like, no, I don't think so. It's like, so, you guys have no idea. They basically pulled uh, in mass and just like kind of threw it out there with no information whatsoever. Absolutely no information. And like, they're like, expect something soon. What? Like, does that still make HO still useful? Like, how much of it do we need to enchant? Like, they didn't tell us any of that so we're still waiting we're still waiting that's that's still pretty pretty sad um it sounds like they just threw in the like oh well we'll retool ho eventually because so many people were upset about the new gear soon tm how about taking all these resources that went into cards and stats and all this shit and putting it into making new bosses and dungeons not reskins we could only hope Honestly, everyone, everyone on KTR are hoping that they're gonna take the new mask and the new belt into a new dungeon instead of having field bosses, because it's been pretty bad out there with the the little leg and all that, with having like 60 plus people around. Like when we wait for field bosses, um, there's about three to four raids with like 30 people in there. So there's a ton of people just waiting for those bosses to get the last hit. So it's it's really laggy out there. A lot of people DC, and I and I think everyone's fed up with that. So they turned it off right now. So a lot of big brain 300 IQ went into this patch clearly. Oh yeah, 350 right there. I don't know. Well.
You'll casually but, play yeah. it until you realize you can't get to where you want to be, and then you'll quit because you can't farm as much as others. Farming's gonna be a big thing. Um, I don't know, like, you have to play the game. You have to grind a bit to be, say, like, PV PvE competitive, obviously. But, like, if you're not, if you're a really casual player, I don't think you should have the expectation to be able to gear as much as anyone who plays, like, 18 hours a day. Instead of fixing the optimization, with... remove the item yeah. so lesser people don't go there. Oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I, I've heard that their idea behind the new gear system was that they wanted to reduce the gap between like veteran players and new players, but I don't, I don't see how any of this is going to do that. Exactly, and if anything, it makes it a bit bigger now. <laughs> Um, yeah, for sure. Like, anyone who's grinding will definitely be at the top. They did fix the uh, crit factor thing a bit, though. So, they made it more linear, linear, I guess. Yeah. Nothing too much, honestly. <laughs> fix or break. So there will be level 68 in Frost Metal now. Uh, he said that when you are 65, you just get given Twist Shard. Uh, there's no Guardian on Korean servers anymore. On NA, it might work differently, because we still get given Guardian gear, but then you do a quest that you can automatically enchant all the way up to Frost Metal. So it's possible they'll either remove Guardian from our server as well, and you just get Twist Shard and do the quest to go up to Frost Metal, or maybe they'll just make it so we get Frost Metal immediately. Who knows? Since, yeah. it's, since it's different, we can't really do much besides speculate on that. Mm -hmm. Well... Yeah, the, the, the GM notes, they say, like, the gold gear at plus 10 is gonna be about... is gonna be higher than plus 3, which is true. But, like, they, they're not... They're, they don't know at all. Honestly, I think they're just throwing it out there randomly. Oh, we think it's going to be, like, better than anything. <laughs> Try to get it. Uh, hello there, Banshee. What is hello. your question, friend? Your Slayer sucks! When is he getting buffed? <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, gee, gee. Well, I what... think Slayers are pretty good right now, eh? Yeah, I was about to ask, oh, when think... was the Slayer buff in, uh, Korea? Yeah. Uh, it's been a while, actually. Didn't Slayers, like, recently get buffed anyways? I like, don't remember. Um, yeah, I think it was, like, at the start of my summer, like, in May or, like, June that they got buffed. So and maybe, like, 84, buffed. 85? Yeah. But they should be, Slayers should be getting a buff soon, right? Same with, like, he, the priests. I know <laughs> priests are definitely gonna get a buff. DPS priest incoming. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, J Terra already has a V, so we should be getting the patches pretty soon. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the new patch. You're you're okay <laughs> with it. Yeah, I, I'm okay with the new patch. It's not that bad. I mean, our our only image was just like the doom and gloom we saw from the K-Terra forums where everyone was just like, fuck Jerry, basically. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, fuck Jerry. It's understandable. I hate that guy. From, from how it sounded like, they were kind of just completely trashing anyone that's put effort into the game. And it's kind of like an investment. You know, if you put the time in, you don't want to see it, you know, poof up and smoke. Oh yeah, definitely. I think, yeah. No, I'm, I'm on you on that. Oh, do you want to um, handle Q6's question here? That is uh, a lot of numbers. Did they buff Velx at all? You know, compensation from the three point. Okay. Yeah, from weapon three point two power mass absolutely butchered their DPS. I actually have no idea how much butchered they are. Like, I don't really follow Velx or like how the rotation changes or how like I I'm, the only time I played Valk was pre-Apex so I don't know how 
much Valk is changing. And like, I recently read from like certain Valk change suggestions that Valks have this module, which I'm not a fan of. So the way people set up Valks and NA and KR might be different. So I, I can't, I couldn't tell you how it's gonna buff Valks at all. I know they do v buff Valks for PvP though. Yeah, they couldn't tell memes. you. They make meme slash an actual skill. Meme slash, let's go. <laughs> also, uh, Ryslin said, Seraph, do you live in Korea? I think you explained that earlier, how you like your parents live there, so you go over yeah, every once in um, a while. I'm, I'm not Korean by nationality, but like, yeah, so I don't live in Korea. I live in NA, I live in Canada. <laughs> Yeah, I just visit there every once in a while. Whoops, yeah. Are we getting rid of PvP? I have no idea how Europe functions. I, I only, the only stuff I know about European Terra is what, like, Nabisu and Ryslin and the other friends in my chat come in and say. Yeah. But uh, EU, I. EU, yeah. Hey, what EU Terra apparently is doing the same thing, aren't they? Like, I don't, I don't know how better, how much better EU Terra is. I've heard about it, but like, honestly, it seems the same. Are you asking if Warrior is still playable in the new patch, Leafy? Um, there are players who do, who still play Warrior. Like, I don't think it's un not playable at all. So uh, I don't know how you, I don't know how to answer your question. I don't have a warrior that's high level enough to compare whether like double enrage, I mean double CDR changing to double enrage is gonna affect it. You'll have to look into like some theory crafting and stuff. I know uh, DD had come into my stream a few days ago, yeah. and he he was like, "I quit Terra. I'm I'm done." <laughs> yeah, but then he's also really really busy with his business and stuff so <laughs> like uh, he's just throwing that around as a meme honest he's well, just way yeah. too busy with life to play the game right now can't you can't have a life if you want to play Terra. yep he would have to quit his business give up on his business to play Terra. <laughs> I, I have I have absolutely no idea what you keep talking about, James. Saying that like DPS doesn't matter and DPS is just damage at this point. Damage per second is irrelevant. That's what damage per second is. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I think a lot of people are still really interested, but like you can't really measure how much damage matters anymore because the new gear scales differently and like you're obviously going to do with new gear uh, damage with the new gear at like a higher enchanting tier so and no one's at plus 15 right now so we don't know what to expect you're obviously going to do like two three times more damage but it's all speculations on how much more you can do and how much you can min max like the thing is like no one's going to be waiting at plus three on the new gear trying to see whether or not like the new gear with different roles different random roles and like how much it's gonna affect how much 700 magical attack is gonna affect your class or something like that because no one's at that point yet everyone's still at the highest i've seen is like plus 12 plus 13 and i think that's pretty insane itself but no one's at that plus 15 yet could not tell you. there might be one person like but who's who's he gonna compare himself to <laughs> don't eat mad eye if you are isn't that sc <laughs> that screenshot i've seen a screenshot of like plus 15 archer or something that's photoshop I don't know why you guys like, think it's like a real thing. <laughs> I think he's talking about the one with like item level. Or like a Photoshop weapon of plus 15. Armor, boots, and clothes, weapon. <laughs> yeah. Photoshopped. Rip. Fake gear. 
And uh, I am I am going to be since since I feel like this informational stream is pretty important, I'll I'll be unlocking my VODs for a few days until I can pull down the like informational portion of this video. And then I'll throw oh, it up man. on YouTube for everyone to be able to access as well. Yeah, sounds good, sounds good. I think we're pretty much set on this stream. I think everyone I answered a lot of the questions. You did, you've been about. fucking wonderful, my dude. Thank you so much for all of the help you have yeah. provided. Yeah, thank Thanks you for answering our questions. Cool. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. No problem. No, I really want to answer people's questions and I keep getting these DMs and uh, I'm just like, oh, not this again. Now now every time you get a DM, you can just link them to the YouTube video. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's that's how it's going to work now. <laughs> Copy paste link. Right. Oh, everybody in chat saying thank you as well. Yeah. No problem. Anytime. All right. Well, I guess I won't take up any more of your time tonight. It has been quite yeah. a long info stream. <laughs> I like that comment. Thank you, Sarah, for bringing the spirit in out future. <laughs> 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 no, it's not that bad, guys. It, it should be pretty decent. It's just we get a lot of content, the card system and the new gear all at once. It just feels really heavy to take, but it should be fine, guys. That's a good, that's a good question. Oh, Seraph, are you single? <laughs> I, I am single. Oh my. Okay, no, that feels pretty sad, but yeah. Oh, uh, age, age, sex, location, friend? <laughs> <laughs> um, male, North America, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, yeah. Oh, leaving out the age. Is this, is this jailbait? Panic. This is, you don't know, guys. <laughs> yeah, open up. <laughs> So without dyads, lancers, and sorks, will be even more mana hungry now. Ooh, yeah, definitely. You got you definitely gonna want a lot of healers to do their job properly, as well as taking those mana pots. I know yeah, exactly. our, our warriors can't do anything without dyads. Yeah. You <laughs> can't use mana if you have no mana. Oh damn. Oh well, yeah, re reapers, man. Oh. I can't get through a proper Reaper rotation without having mana. Will they have anything to replace Glistening? I don't think they have anything yet. Not yet. How slowly will we play? Will it make Final Fantasy XIV combat look fast? That's the question. Oh, I've seen Final Fantasy combat. It's pretty slow, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy slow, isn't it? <laughs> Am I going to be able to give you mana during backpack mode? Sorry, Pew, I'm too busy doing DPS. Can't use mana charge. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there's a, uh, there's a uh, mana region line on the uh, armor. Ooh. Yeah, 400 mana per five seconds. Every five seconds, so I don't know uh, if that matters. Yeah, I think that was... And then there's also a line on it that has 158 MP region. It's a random line, but still crazy good. Dude, Oof. this armor looks good. Anyways, yeah. Hello, mom. You can only use one scale every five seconds, please. Global cooldown, no. <laughs> oh, no. Show the stats for chest gloves and shoes. Unfortunately, we don't have a screenshot of that, Ayato friend. Can you post anything if I give them to you right now? Um, yeah, I could. Okay. Uh, how do I do this? Heals um, give mana, please. We good boys, we got mana regen and battle potion with mana. So we're wow with Magic the Gathering now? Ah, uh, seems like it. Except yeah. we get we get real action combat instead of a uh, tab target. Uh, there's a slayer I'm looking at right now. He has plus 12 weapon. Uh, I mean plus 12 of armor. And it's got the same like decreased damage from enraged monsters, decreased damage from monsters itself, decreased damage from monsters with aggro on you. Um, 10% monster DPS, 400 MP. I'll talk all about this when we can get this up. Yeah. Just give me one second because I'll have to just create a new scene for it. Mm -hmm. And this one looks really nice, though. Let 
Just blow that up there. Yeah. This guy is pretty good. Yeah, this is like increased decreased damage on enrage, just regular monsters with aggro on you. Um increased ten percent damage to monsters. Four hundred MP regen every five seconds. Increased max HP, max MP, uh crit resist. Uh and he has three lines. One of them is fifteen uh, well, 158 MP regen every 5 seconds, increase total HP by 4,000, and increase physical damage by 335. Yeah. Dyad simply being empty? Yeah, of course! Why would they ever mm -hmm. take a slot out of the game? Mm -hmm. We had, like, the brooch and mask slots in the game for ages before they were even a thing, and, like, our cosmetic... Like, they had, they had two different hat slots. So like, our cosmetic hats could go both in the mask slot and in, like, the actual cosmetic slot on the second page. So it was really, really fucking weird. Hello. It's actually visually repulsive. <laughs> hmm. I just realized you can also get the same line on the second line. So, like, you can have three lines, three random lines of physical damage with the same value. Oh, my. Yeah. Well, that is three interesting. lines of 20% cooldown reduction. Oh, I wish. Three MP lines, let's go! <laughs> three MP lines, yeah. That's totally possible. Get all JoJo up in here. <laughs> but, like, if we look at his stat lines on this, yeah. where it says, like, I'm assuming that first line is, is his attack, right? The 851,000? Yeah. Like, that is way fucking higher than what we have right now. Oh, yeah. My archer has 543k attack at plus two. So it's, it's definitely a lot higher. Like, it's incomparable. And how much crit do uh, slayers go for? Oh, this is a warrior. Never mind. How much crit do warriors go for? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I think it was around like plus 330, uh, 230 or something. Something like yeah. that? Yeah. This guy has plus 120, uh, 148. So definitely a lot decrease in crit factor. Um, yeah. My Q6 of war DPS go 270. 270. This guy has plus 148. So, yikes. Rip. Everyone's just gonna go for power now, eh? Looks like it. Full power, just power crystals and all that. Nah, uh, Leafy, this is a warrior, not a slayer. Yeah, this is a warrior, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a slayer, I don't know. I'm that's alright, those, those twin swords look like one big sword from this, this exactly, angle, that's yeah. alright. <laughs> Honestly, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, wow, a slayer. But like, I looked at his uh, class icon, it was a warrior. Oops. Whoops. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a warrior. warrior. Yeah, everyone's like, oh, everyone thought oh, it was a slayer because I said it was a slayer. <laughs> I tricked you. Bamboozled. That Seraph is inspecting someone else? Yeah. Um, just, I don't know. I'm trying to look for like different classes right he's now. He's just taking pictures of random people. No big deal. Yeah. <laughs> they won't mind. No. Except like... I. Literally can't find people, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, do we have any more questions? Hello, Omega Reaper. Again, full power, power warrior on the new patch. Yeah, you said yeah. It looks like full power. Full power. You're definitely not gonna go for like attack speed on your crystals because of cooldown. I've seen an archer, um, the, the number one archer on K Terra right now. He just goes for attack speed crystals on his jewelry. So, yeah. Full power ninja. Um, 
I think ninjas still go for a t uh, crit because yeah, they they still do want a crit and it's linear. So like the more crit you have, you're definitely gonna do more more uh, crit damage. You're just gonna crit more. Um, yeah. So how did they change the crit stuff? They made the crit calculation from polynomial to linear. So they so it increases linearly. Like it's it won't be one to one, but it'll stay static basically um yeah how much does it attack with effect class so like the crit cap basically is decreased like i archers usually go for like 100 plus 160 something but like i just don't care about that anymore i just go full power So any any classes that had like a relatively low crit don't need to worry about crit anymore. They just go full power. Um I think yeah, no. I don't I don't use a lot of crit anymore. I I couldn't tell you like specifically the values and everything cuz like my archer has plus 71 right now. I know they usually want to go for plus 168ish for priest party but i still do 100 percent crit on radiant arrow and thunderbolt regardless so like the crit basically dropped by half if that answers your question sort of hopefully yeah every class is now valkyrie yeah, pretty much like <laughs> absolutely no reason to worry about crit anymore just go full power you say the classes are pretty balanced in K-Terra right now? Um, well, it depends on like the type of class, honestly. But uh, most of the new classes, they do burst damage. Like Ninja, they're just going to do a ton of burst damage at the start. And then just go down, down, down over time. Whereas like Archers won't do that much of a burst damage. They have more consistent damage. But like, yeah, relatively, like a lot of the top players who have been playing have are, are just pretty much balanced in terms of DPS and PVE. I'm not sure about PVP because I don't PVP. Yeah, uh, Monkey Spirit Web is still 400. Blondes has a question. I'm still waiting for, to read the question. Um, yeah, if you ever look, okay, no. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Can you teach us to a swear word in Korean? <laughs> wow. Uh, 